The new limited time Shadow Siege event is now live in Modern Warfare 2, and with this event, there's a bunch of items you're able to unlock, one of them being a brand new assault rifle. In this video, we're going to break down the event, and we're going to go through all the challenges and show you how to quickly get all of these items, including the new weapon. These are very simple, and you should be able to get it done in one game, taking about 20 minutes. If you want to see more challenge guide videos like this in the future for Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, make sure to unlock that subscribe button because I'm going to keep you fully up to date. The first challenge unlocks a vehicle skin for the heavy chopper this is the easiest of all the challenges you need to secure a missile launcher as soon as you spawn in game you're going to see a bunch of white rockets around the map one of them is going to turn red right before you jump out you want to go to the rocket that turned red with the rest of your squad once you land there you're going to see a terminal when you start to interact with it you're going to see a progress bar you want to wait near the area with the rocket defend all the ai that comes you can take them out and farm some xp it's actually really good for weapon xp and normal player xp then once you finish it and you've got the bar all the way secured, you're going to finish it and you're going to unlock the vehicle skin. If you're playing solo and the other people in your squad go do something random and they don't drop in the area, yes, you are still able to secure this solo. The second challenge unlocks this emblem. This is also super simple. It reads off blow up the observatory. This is going to happen automatically when all squads in the entire game capture their missile launcher. So once you see all the missile launchers on the map turn blue, that means they've been captured. You're going to see a little scene where all of the missile launchers shoot a rocket. It's going to blow up the observatory. You shouldn't have to worry about how helping other people capture their missiles but if for some reason one of the missiles on the map just stays white and it's been abandoned and no one's going for it then you and your squad might want to go there and capture it but as soon as they've all been captured you want to start making your way to the observatory we're going to skip challenge number three for now because this is going to be the last challenge you're going to complete the next one is a charm this reads off deliver five gas canisters as a squad in a single deployment once it's been blown up if you head to the observatory you're going to see marked entrances on your map that are going to take you underground you want to be cautious though because that yellow circle means that it's gas so you want to find a gas mask and if you take out the enemies that are in this location they're going to drop more gas mask so you should always be able to find one and it's not going to be that much of an issue but now you're going to look for gas canisters all in this underground bunker there's these green gas canisters if you pick it up it's going to put you in third person you then have to leave the underground area of the bunker find an exfil chopper that's located on your map you want to head inside of the exfil chopper you're going to drop off the gas then you're going to head back underground and grab another gas canister you as a squad have to get five of these in a single game to get this charm we were able to do this our very first game me solo i was able to grab three of these that just means with everyone in your squad you can have up to four players they just have to grab two more you should be able to get more than half of these by yourself so if you have a squad and everyone's going for these you'll easily get this charm then for the next challenge you'll get a battle pass tier skip if you complete it and this seems to be the most confusing challenge for people out of all of these it reads off intercept five radio transmissions once you're in the underground bunker, when you kill enemies, you want to look on the ground for burner phones. You just want to find five of these. And once one of these are found, everyone else in your squad can pick it up. It's not going to disappear when you pick it up. You can only pick it up once, but you can then ping it and everyone else in your squad can pick it up. So as a squad together, you just have to find five of these and it doesn't have to be done in one game. If you only get three in one game, if you play it again and get two more, you're going to finish it. But there's a lot of bots underground and I found three in a small little radius. So if when you you first go in the underground bunker if you're just looking for these radios on every enemy that you kill you should be able to finish this in one game and get this free tier skip now for the most important challenge the one that most people are going to care about because it unlocks the brand new ar the m13c there's going to be camos you can unlock for this new attachments to get this you have to assist in killing five commanders once the bunker's been opened there's going to be different things that spawn in there's wilson's juggernauts and there's commander helos all you have to do is assist in killing five of these meaning you don't have to be the one that does the last bit of damage when it dies you just have to put some bullets into it and if someone else takes it out it's gonna count and once you do that five times you unlock the m13c i think it is a little bit bugged because when i took out my first commander it was a commander helo once we took that out i immediately unlocked this i only had to do one i didn't have to do five of them but your mileage may vary you might have to do all five of them but don't be surprised if you load into game take out a jug and it unlocks immediately now going back to the challenge we skipped this is a calling card to get this you have to exfil with mission success so once you've collected all 45 gas canisters and you've taken them to the exfil chopper this is combined progression your squad doesn't have to do 45 of them once the entire lobby has done 45 of them there is going to be a countdown 
you need to be on that exfil chopper before that countdown hits zero once that happens it's gonna lift off it's like exfilling in dmz and when the game ends if you're in the exfil chopper and you exfilled with it that's how you unlock this calling card and that's it once you get on the exfil chopper and it flies away you've completed the shadow siege event there is going to be a little cutscene. then there's going to be a trailer for modern warfare 3 that plays after it i'm not going to show that because it's copyrighted and it's not super useful information for this this is a guide on how to unlock these new items there are three days left to complete this event once you've beat it you're more than welcome to go in play it again finish any of the challenges you weren't able to complete on your first playthrough and you can also go and farm xp those first few sections there is a lot of enemies you can take down great for weapon xp i was able to max out the new m13c in two games the first game almost maxed it out but there's a lot of enemy spawn points so it's great for xp all that other stuff but once you've got all these challenges there isn't a lot of reasons to play it again so go in game get this new stuff and if you do miss this event if you're not able to play in the next three days and you don't get the m13c i'm sure this will come back in some sort of challenge where you can get in the future they've never made a weapon that you're not able to unlock after event in any of the recent call of duties so i it, it'll probably come back but if you want to see more videos like this in the future where we break down any event guides make sure to unlock the subscribe button have a great day i'll see you in the next one peace